Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with you probably guessed it, another Boom Peach Warships video. So in today's video, guys, we went to five yard. Let's see if it's any good. Let's see if it's any spoiler, it is good. It is good. It's uh much better than four. Basically, the bonus of going to five is that your opponents are gonna take a lot longer to get through your base. Um, so as long as you can take down other people at similar speeds in four yard then you'll be good to go. Let's do our daily check-in on the Boom Pass here. I did go ahead and get it. So let's grab, we got uh, we got the Scorcher skin, we got some Magmas, we got some Percentage, we got some more stuff. Let's collect all of it. I need those hero tokens after getting the Mr. Mystical Monument up to level 300, which is very nice. Uh, so now we should have Scorchers at a new, when we go to our Paintbrush over here, Troop tab, Legacy, boom. Wow, those are some funny looking scorchers. They match the landing craft. What is it with Boom Beach and making these collectible skins blend in with the environment so you can't see them? That's the opposite of what a skin is for. A skin is supposed to be like the heavies, where it's very colorful and bright and vibrant. And people look at it and they say, hey, what is that? I want that. People look at the scorcher and they say, why does that guy have empty landing crafts? <laughs> so, kind of interesting. But anyway, so I just copied this base at 5, so I can't say if it's good or not yet. Um, I made a, a goofy chicken base at 5ER, and I won a few with it, so I can't say that it was terrible, but... Um, yeah, so there's the base. Let's go over the tech tree real quick. Uh, nothing much to report on the tech tree. We, we did a lot of collecting today, as you can see, with the 1.5 million tokens are starting to add up. Uh, which is good. I think actually I will upgrade the flare to four because we are doing a lot more long flaring now at five years. So that'll probably help a little bit. Um, other than that, we have a couple decisions to make. So we can go building health next, boom cannons, or we can backtrack and get snipers and cannons. Now, if I was ahead of the game, I might go the sniper and cannons route. Since I'm behind, I might wait a bit and see if the boom cannons are really going to be all that. Um, from what we've seen, the boom cannons are very strong. And they shut down rocket choppers more so than snipers and the extra uh, multi note of cannons. But let's just, uh, I don't know, let's dive in and see. So let's go over some of these attacks at five engine rooms. Um, for the most part, it's pretty similar to what we're doing with four. I would say it's easier than the four yard attack because you don't have to be as fast. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. This guy's got what, two? Five cannons. Uh, this is pretty similar tech to me, other than the fact that he does have sniper towers. So let's go like this. Heavy's coming in. Delay him just enough to get those rocket choppers out. I don't see the next cannon until the doom cannons. So we can save our shocks until then. Um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you up upgrade the uh, the gunboat, especially if you're doing these style attacks. That is going to be tremendously helpful. Tremendously. Let's go shock over here. A little bit early on that cannon, but that is okay. Uh, Doom Cannon should be distracted by the heavy for a second. For a second. Yes, it was. Beautiful. Okay, okay. So I think I'm going to go this way. And let's collect them here. We can take this down. Then we can go like that. So we do got to save our shocks over here. And let's go shock you over here, flare up this way. Trying to go fast. Trying, trying, trying. Let's get out of the range of those sniper towers and other garbage. Kind of doing a wonky around the world flare here. We'll see if it works. Um, we're gonna go right for it here. We got enough GB for two shocks. Two shocks are better than one, that's what I always say. And with not having to reflare, we got a little bit extra GB. 237, that's pretty slow. Typically, we, from what I've seen, anyways, we want to be like 250, 255. Um, that seems to be the sweet spot for 5ER. 237 is leaving a lot of time, a lot of room for mistakes on the table. But, okay, he had to shock there. 237 is the time to beat him. Mean, he's only got one cannon left after this, so he's probably just going to gung-ho it. Yeah. So I would say we lost that one. They didn't necessarily win it. Um, we definitely could have got a better time to lose by 10 seconds. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, five seconds, okay. 
So we can clean that up. We can clean that up. Let's try one more. We've got to be careful here. I don't want to uh, not be able to collect the gold. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know how you're making out down below in the comments. What's working? What is not working? All that good stuff. Um, seen a lot of five yards. I was a little bit surprised because I, I assumed people would beef up at four before going to five, but it seems like everybody went five yards at the same exact time. Um, okay, he's got the Doom Cannon over there. I think what we can do here, actually, let's try this. Maybe screw all that junk in the front. Let's keep him on this side. And I think we'll still shock down here. And the heavy should come into range of that Doom Cannon. Let them here clear that cannon. Quickly hit this one. Flank him up over this way. Then we'll come back down towards the Doom Cannon. Give him a little shocky shocky. Keep some of those heavies alive, which will help. Let them free clear here for just a moment. The rocket choppers, it's all about the flaring speed. Nothing else matters. Okay. Alright, so we're going to lose, what, one rocket chopper, maybe two. Now, technically, we didn't need to reflare there, but I always try to get the Zookas moving towards that engine room if we can. Um, so we still got to be fast. But this is the, the time I was thinking, 250, 255. Um, we'll see if that is enough. Uh, Mr. Ballistic Bull is moving like a ballistic turtle. I'm just kidding. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Bully. Um, but yeah, so you got to be fast. You got to flare super quick. And it's, uh, it's definitely not an easy attack by any means. So, but, and I also think this base might be decent. So that's, uh, that's definitely helpful. Um, I don't think we have rank 17 in us right now, but, um, oh, he's going to go back around the cannon. Yeah. With only three rock jobbers, it really slows you down because you can't, uh, flare through everything. Unfortunately, you've got to just kind of go free clear, which really slows you down a lot. Um, but yeah, so I, I hope that helps you guys uh, get sorted going into, what are we, day four today of season 61? Yeah, so we got some decisions to make. I don't know exactly which way we're going to go. Boom cannons uh, versus building health. Um, sorry, Billy, I got to get the screenshot there. Um, yeah, a couple different options couple different options so we've at least locked our chest in next chest of gold so I'll probably stop playing from there but um, yeah yeah I don't know sniper towers and the multi node of cannons are definitely very good I don't know can then you justify 24 keys though like because we know eventually what's gonna happen right is we're gonna go to bombardiers we're gonna go to heavy choppers you know all the stuff down here is way better than the stuff that we would be back filling for up there Right? So, I don't know. But at the same time, it gets you some rank chests. I think as long as we're staying in gold, that's all we need to do. But, um, but yeah, lots of decisions to make. Hope that helps you guys out. Let me know what you think down below in that comment section. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Check it out. Back, back.